Continue Hispanic Heritage Month with our series of stories on culture here in Western Colorado. One local restaurant opens their doors to show the Grand Valley a taste of Hispanic cuisine. Carries 5 News reporter Camila Barco learned the evolution of the food from one of the largest, most dynamic Spanish-speaking countries. From the carne asada to the margaritas, this restaurant forges a fiery flavor that was molded from a variety of cultures. Today, we take you to Mexico via a Grand Junction eatery. the doors of Fiesta Guadalajara. Ari, how are you? How is everything doing so far? The vibrant and lively restaurant shows the Mexican cuisine that can be traced back to the Mayan civilization. Un lugar familiar para todo tipo de gente. It's a family place for all types of people. A happy place that is a restaurant, but with the intentions of a fast food place. The rich dishes and traditions vary between regions, but the foundation for their colorful plates is beans and corn, a product that stems back to the pre-Columbian times and can be found in almost every meal. Spicy fajitas and chiladas are some of the most common dishes. Then there's a thin steak grilled, marinated in different sauces known as la carne asada, a typical plate filled with arroz y frijoles, pronounced in English as rice and beans. You make in every corner and every backyard with your friends in Mexico. But an authentic Mexican dish wouldn't be complete without some peppers and some fiery spices. <laughs> It's been accustomed since our childhood with a taco filled with beans, sprinkled with a bottle of chile, with a jalapeno on the side. Our spiciness ranges from 1 to 10. Our food is now at a 3. That way everyone can eat it, and if someone wants their dish to be spicier, we can make it a 20. Even make them cry at times. Modern day spices are a result of the Spaniards' conquest of Mexico in 1821, leaving behind a huge influence on how Mexican food is made today. But dinner isn't the only plate on the menu that's filled with the seasonings. El mole, mole poblano. Otherwise known as the mole sauce, it's a signature dessert combined with garlic, onions, and tomatoes. There are 10 types of seeds. Sesame and calabash are a couple. It has chocolate and sugar. However, a meal wouldn't be complete without some drinks. In the country of Mexico, tequila is a national liquor. At Fiesta Guadalajara, margaritas have become a town staple. To top it all off, the sights and sounds of a mariachi band, giving the restaurant an authentic environment. It's a band comprised of trumpets, violins, guitars, and a bass. Dating back to the 19th century in the state of Jalisco, it is considered the green, white, and red country's most typical music. Over the years, Mexican food has been influenced. Today's signature plates are more diverse due to the many different cultures that contribute to each dish that even Grand Junction can have a taste of. Now join us next Thursday as we air our final story as part of our month-long Hispanic Heritage series. It's about a small town that temporarily changed its name, recognizing the travels of a couple of Spanish explorers. This Sunday, a 30-minute special will air at 4.30 on CARIAX, looking at the hidden history of the Hispanic culture here in the Grand Valley and across the United States. First on the Western Slope, Camila Barco, CARIAX, 5 News.